Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Just hold on. I just need to close my door. Ah, I, okay. Where are you recording from? I am recording from inside my car, inside my garage. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I'm stuck in a cupboard uh, with my head um, sort of buried in all our clothes. So this is um, <laughs> recording what's crap on WhatsApp in the time of the coronavirus. You're listening to What's Crap on WhatsApp, the voice note show that debunks the crap in your WhatsApp groups. I'm Paul McNally from Volume. And I'm Kate Wilkinson from Africa Check. This week, like I said, I'm recording from my car in my garage. And I'm across Johannesburg recording from my bedroom. The Volume studio is closed and Kate and I are in our respective homes. This week on What's Crap on WhatsApp, we're investigating three viral messages about the coronavirus pandemic. We're checking if garlic is a cure and if dogs can get the virus. And we're investigating a story that links Bill Gates to the pandemic. We'll also be announcing the winner of our two gigabyte competition. And stay tuned to the end of this episode to find out how you can also win data. Okay, so what is the first debunk of today, Kate? There are lots of messages during the rounds about how you can cure the new strain of the coronavirus but you need to be very careful about trying any of them. One message that has been shared on WhatsApp says that the novel coronavirus can be cured by one bowl of freshly boiled garlic. That sounds like a recipe rather than health advice. What do the facts say? Let's get one thing straight, Paul. According to the World Health Organization, there is currently no vaccine, no drug or no treatment for the new strain of the coronavirus. But I'm guessing that hasn't stopped the claim from being shared on social media, right? Right. And it's also been shared widely on Facebook. The World Health Organization's Director General has urged people across the world to ignore false information. We want you to go even further, delete it off your phone and send people accurate information. You should rely on credible information and experts when making decisions about your health. Don't trust a dodgy WhatsApp message. You're smarter than that. So this claim is crap then? It's total crap. Garlic is not a cure for the coronavirus. Next up, we have a claim about dogs getting the coronavirus. Look, I know lots of people started working from home this week. Should they be giving their furry friends the side eye? An article published in February claims that a pet dog in Hong Kong tested positive for the coronavirus. It says the pooch was put in quarantine, but it didn't show any symptoms of the disease. Shame! Is that true? (laughs) It actually is, Paul. A press release from the Hong Kong government confirmed that a low level of the new coronavirus was detected in the dog. Its owner had actually already been diagnosed with the virus. So should people be worried about their pets getting sick or infecting them or being infected by their pets? You don't need to stress. The US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the World Health Organization say there is no evidence that pets can spread the virus. Ah, okay. So it looks like officials said it was likely a case of human to animal transmission. As a precaution, experts recommend that people diagnosed with the novel coronavirus restrict contact with their pets. They say you should wash your hands before and after touching or spending time with them. This is very different from what I've seen on Facebook, where lots of people are cuddling their pets. So this message is not crap. It's true. The last thing we're fact-checking sounds like a conspiracy theory. We've seen lots and lots of these being shared on WhatsApp and social media lately. Okay, tell me what it is. A widely shared message claims that billionaire Microsoft founder and philanthropist Bill Gates warned the world about the coronavirus pandemic back in 2015. This is kind of something that my aunt might send me. But it is something I would kind of expect from Bill Gates. Is it true? Okay, so there actually is some truth in the story. Bill Gates did give a TED talk in March 2015 in Canada. It was titled, The Next Outbreak, We're Not Ready. And this is what he said. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. Not missiles, but microbes. Now, part of the reason for this is that we have invested a huge amount in nuclear deterrence. 
But we've actually invested very little in a system to stop an epidemic. That's pretty interesting. But did he mention the coronavirus specifically or any details of what's happening now? No, he didn't. A few days after his speech, though, he published an article which said that the next global pandemic could be worse than the Ebola outbreak of 2014 to 2016 that killed about 11,000 people. He goes on to say that the world is simply not prepared to deal with a disease, and especially a virulent flu, for example, that infects large numbers of people very quickly. These are the characteristics of many viral diseases. So while Gates wasn't warning the world about the coronavirus specifically, he was warning us about a disease like it. So this message also isn't crap. That's all for this week's episode of What's Crap on WhatsApp. But before we go, we have to announce the winner of our two gigabyte of data competition. Lance has won two gigabytes of data. Well done, Lance. This week, subscribers stand a chance to win two gigabytes of data. And all you need to do is send us a WhatsApp message to fact check. You'll find the T's and C's on our website. Friends and family can also sign up for our show over WhatsApp. The number is 082-709-3527. That's 082-709-3527. Make sure to save us as a contact on your phone and send us a message to confirm. You can also find the show wherever you get your podcasts from Apple to Spotify. And if you enjoyed this episode, please send us a dog emoji or maybe a garlic clove. (laughs) Our theme song is supplied by John Bartman. Be sure to tell your friends about our competition and visit our website at www.whatscrap.africa. I'm Paul McNally. And I'm Kate Wilkinson. Bye for now. Volume.